Hello, now we are going to discuss about the institutions for international trade. Uh, by international trade, I mean the expo if you want to do export or import business uh, from Bangladesh, uh, then what are the institutions which are important uh, to do our business smoothly based in Bangladesh? Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to discuss about some institutions which we can term or we can call them as public institutions or they are associated with the government and the first institution that comes as important to us is Ministry of Commerce. Uh, second institution is the Ministry of Finance. Okay, Ministry of Commerce, they are important because they set the rules and procedures about and they also set the framework that what we can import and export from Bangladesh and what we can't and Ministry of Finance is important uh, in the sense that they uh, they have a few large influence and they're um, influencing about our payment methods and our in insurance uh, policies so how we can deal with the bank how we will minimize or manage our risk is defined and di dictated by the Ministry of Finance there is another institute which is also uh, authorized uh, uh, as to be the vanguard or as a regulator of our import export business and this organization is called in short it is CCIE and if I expand the term it means chief controller. So the first C stands for chief then chief controller of import and export and this office is, um, is the responsible office. Uh, to do the registration of the importers and exporters. So as an importer or exporter, if I want to register myself, uh, then I need to go to this office. And then comes the Bangladesh Bank. Bangladesh Bank is, you know, that this is the uh, regulator of all banking organizations in Bangladesh. And they also can influence our uh, relationship uh, with, the, with our commercial banks, the bank which is supporting us. And they also change the rules and sometimes monitor our transactions uh, about the payments that we are sending for our imports or the payments that we are receiving for our exports. And then here is EPV and EPV stands for Export Promotion Bureau. Export Promotion Bureau is one of the agency established by Bangladesh government to promote and facilitate export business from Bangladesh. And the next institute is BFTI, uh, which stands for Bangladesh Foreign Trade Institute. And this institute is also established by Bangladesh government, but it's an autonomous body. So that means they can arrange their uh, own uh, procedures, they can set their own business rules that how they will conduct and how they will govern. BFTI is particularly more involved with research and training for importers and exporters. The next institute is BTC. So BTC stands for Bangladesh Tariff Commission and they are influential in the sense that they set the tariff. They set um, uh, when we are importing BTC define or BTC uh, decides about how much tariff we need to pay, how much a tariff you can say it's a one form of tax or uh, so how much we have to pay uh, for importing a particular item and even as an exporter I mean they influence us uh, by uh, by setting the right tariff level for the items that we are competing with so uh, and then next item is NBR and uh, this is very famous to us because it's um, it's it's involved with if you talk about tariff commission and all other things I mean NBR is a is a is one of the most relevant body about that and and there stands for national board of revenue so they are the, the policy makers they set the policy that what will be the duty customs uh, duty tariff and uh, taxes corporate income taxes adverse income taxes for a particular item so they are the like the supreme body even uh, they are also regulating the customs house so customs house uh, is also collecting the customs duty and assessing the value of the items but they are also working under NBR and then we have the port authorities they are the gateways to Bangladesh so uh, for Bangladesh so if you if we want to export and import items so we need to get through 
get the items through this uh, ports. So the famous airports are like uh, Shah Jalal International Airport or Usmani International Airports. But we have also uh, seaports, the famous are uh, Chirong uh, Seaport and the Mongla Seaport. And we have also another seaport now uh, is very uh, getting more active is Pangao. But Pangao is an internal port. So, I mean, when you take items from Chiragong, then you can now put it in a small ship and you can uh, transport that item on, on with uh, naval routes or with the river ways to right to Pangao, which is uh, around, which is close to Dhaka. And then uh, we have some land ports like uh, Banapur port. And we have another one uh, uh, close to Tripura, which is, I think, maybe Akhoda port. So we have, but Banapur port is the most famous uh, land port for Bangladesh. So we have these ports, and these are all important public institutions influencing our import and export business. We have also Bangladesh Tea Board, which is also, I have not mentioned it here, but Tea Board is also important as a public, for particular business like uh, tea business. And then we have some institutions which I can call them as private. Though uh, they are private, uh, I have also mentioned BGNA uh, as a private organization because though it, it is a chamber of commerce, this is an association, but it is established by uh, private enterprises or you know the private business owners. They join together and form an association, uh, but they are not all of these organizations. They are also very influenced, and they are not like some. I am not talking about some micro institutions. We are talking about all these institutions if we put them together. So BJMEA here, it stands for Bangladesh Garments Manufacturers and Exporters Association and it is particularly relevant for RMG sector or ready-made garment sector. But for other sectors, we have other organizations like BKMEA, which is which stands for Bangladesh Knitwear Manufacturers uh, and Exporters Association. We also have another organization called BTMEA, which stands for Bangladesh Textile manufacturers and exporters association and now the apex body or the supreme body of all the business associations uh, is called FBCCI. FBCCI stands for Bangladesh uh, Federation sorry uh, Federation of Bangladesh Chamber of Commerce and Industries. Uh, this is one of the apex body and they also help to get uh, certificates and also to authenticate and to facilitate the import and export business of exporters and importers in Bangladesh. We have another very influential body, though it is a regional body because it is based in Dhaka, but it is very famous in our country and uh, in helping and also very uh, prominent in helping the exporters and importers, which is it's called BCCI, as you, are, as, as you can assume, it uh, stands for Dhaka Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Then we have the commercial banks, which are also uh, playing a, a leading role in, in, in executing the payment process, I mean, by issuing the LC and other uh, payment uh, tools of in, in favor of the exporters and importers. Insurance companies are there to, uh, to issue the cover note, cover policies, insurance cover note and policies under the general insurance for exporters and importers. And then we have freight forwarders. Freight forwarders, they are uh, service providers to the to an importer and exporter to uh, transport their items from one country to another country and we have the cnf agents cnf agents can be written in both ways it, you can write it like c and f or you can write cnf actually which also means c and f agents uh, they mean uh, it means a clearing and forwarding agent and these agents are uh, working in the customs houses or in the ports to clear the items from the ship and to get it uh, into the country or to get it uh, out to the uh, to the ship uh, to export it to another country. So for importing, it is it is doing the clearing job. That means it uh, there is there is a ship in the port and uh, for agent is clearing the items to get it in the country. For export purpose. Uh, there is an item waiting to be loaded on the ship and the agent is forwarding this item through the customs house to, to be boarded or to be loaded on the ship. That's why it's called clearing and forwarding agent. And then we have the shipping lines doing the final job of transporting items from one country to another country. 
I, I have here mentioned only shipping lines, but it can be any airlines, it can be some trucks, because uh, when we are doing importing and exporting job from Bangladesh to India or some other neighbor state, we can also use the, you know, the, uh, the road, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. we can go through road, uh, but for some uh, further destinations, for some longer routes, it can be air or uh, sea routes. So, and then finally, we have some institutions which are uh, internationally um, influencing and facilitating export input business. Uh, where, I mean, when we are discussing about international organizations, the first one we can talk about is WTO, uh, Internet World Trade Organization, which is uh, which is uh, which is the supreme body or the apex body to monitor and to uh, to supervise um, the free, uh, free and fair global trade. So uh, that's that's WTO, which is also influencing uh, widely and largely uh, our import and export business by setting the policy guidelines for countries and the organizations. And then comes the next organization is World Trade Center. World Trade Center is like a uh, you know it's a it's a resource center, it's a training center, and it also does some facilitating job for the importers and exporters. So if you go to the website, you will find out. Mostly, it uh, it shares the resources and training, and trains, uh, and uh, by that, it facilitates the importer and exporter in doing a better business as an exporter and importer internationally. And then the last one I want to discuss about is uh, ICC. ICC is a very influential and playing a very important role in international business. ICC stands for um, inter it's not uh, International Cricket Council. It's not Indian Cricket Council. Uh, it stands for International Chamber of Commerce. Yes, you are right. So, International Chamber of Commerce it's it's playing a very important role because uh, uh, it is uh, it is the arbitrator. I mean, we have a problem as an exporter or an importer. I have a problem with my counterpart in another country. Uh, as an exporter, I have a problem with my buyer who is the importer, and maybe I don't have a payment. Uh, I don't have the payment in time, or I have some other issues about the conditions. Then, then where do I go? Uh, it's not in my country and it's not it's in another country and i have legal problems uh, i have problems to pursue legally so then we first go to the icc and icc try to settle the problem by arbitration as an arbitrator I, icc plays a very important role so these are all about all institutions that uh, are influential as a government institutions as private institutions or as international institutions uh, to help us and in influencing our uh, import and export business now I'm showing you that when we need to browse and we need to uh, uh, know further about these institutions, how do we do it? Let's take any organization. Let's take uh, WTC. So from international organization, we will see about WTC. And for um, private organizations, we will try to see about uh, DCCI. And for um, uh, government organizations, let's take Chief Controller's Office of Import and Export. We will try to see. Uh, their information I mean, by browsing over net and let's take one by one so first of all chief controller office of import and export let's browse it the chief controller office office of import and export cc i think we are close there and so when we go there we can see it from the url from the address of the internet that this is since it is gov.bt so this is chief controller office of import and export of Bangladesh government, it can be also in other countries. So we need to check that which country uh, is it the my uh, is it the right place where I want to uh, browse about this particular uh, company. So here, if we go, we can see yes, uh, this is uh, uh, yeah, but uh, we are not exactly there because we have come to yeah we we are there because it is written on the home page that Amdani or Optani Pradhan Niyam Soket Doctor. So chief controller office of uh, import and export so here we will find out information about this organization now let's move to the another one let's take uh, dcci dhaka chamber of commerce and industries how do we find it dhaka i can write down dcci but there may be other terms with dcci so let's dhaka chamber of commerce and industries since it is a very famous organization with a little search you can find it and here i find the right url address so here is the website and here we can browse to know further about this organization. Let's take the last one that is World Trade Center. So World 
create center when you go there and we browse and then we find yes it seems to the right side so when we click on that we find we get to the uh, home page of this site and here you will find out the information about world trade center but in this same way you can uh, you can browse about all other organizations and uh, you can find information about them as you will be assigned to find information as a class assignment uh, um, within your group so we you need to work out this thank you all and have a nice time